King Diamond Sleepless Nights. This is the CBT guitar lesson for Donnie. Cool stuff, Donnie. They, one of the bands, you know, I, I mean, I know of King Diamond. I just, uh, for some reason, didn't listen to a lot. And there was another band, Fate's Warning. And they kind of, they're great. Their music just kind of takes you on a journey, a lot of parts. This one reminds me of Bark at the Moon meets, uh, you know, with Zach Wilde on guitar. Um, seven pages, a lot of stuff for you to work on here. Uh, section one, zero seconds in, standard tuning, two, four, four, A, D, and G. And then um, you're gonna slight short rest there. Palm mute the second fret on the low E strings um, eight times, alternate pick. So it's. And then right back to the chord. Pinch harmonic, two G vibrato. And we'll raise this a hair. Because I get to look at my guitar and sometimes it's almost cut off. Uh, and then uh, 12 times palm muted, second fret low E, alternate pick. Right back to the chord. Okay, and then 8 palm mutes on the 2E. To 4 DG, you'll go. 2, 4, 5 DGB, so it's. 3rd fret D and G. Interesting chord setup, huh? Um, you'll start it, second time no star, so you'll play it up to here. Okay, instead of 2, 4, 5, we're gonna go open 2, 2, A, D, G. To open 2, E, A, so it's an A5 to an E5, basically. So from the chord, you're going... All right, and then this clean part, which is really cool, um, kind of reminds me of Fate's Warning. It um, goes like this. Very cool. Open D, 5G, 6B. That's all you need for the first part. It is a hold. You're arpeggiating through it, which means you're picking the notes individually. So they kind of ring together. D, G, B, E. Short rest, and then B, G. And then throw a 7D in there. It is in there. It passes very quick, but that's how he's playing it, I guarantee you. 14 seconds in, by the way, this part. Again. And then repeat it, but... We're gonna to go to the eighth fret on the high A, on the high E. We still put the seven D on the end. Repeat that, but we're gonna to go to seven on the high E instead of an eight. And um, you can either go pinky or third, but we do do need to catch the seven D at the end. It's your choice how you want to go with that. Okay, that's like I said, gonna, that's gonna go three times. Um, there's double dots, you know, throughout in here. Sometimes it's two times, it's notated. If it's not notated, it means two times. I think I notated most of them. All right, and then the next part reminds me of uh, Bucky the Moon, kind of. Um, you're gonna go. So it's. And then right back to. Um, this is cool. Yes. They, they get into some really cool chords. This is 7, 9, 10, D, G, and B. Chord, open A, alternate picked, down, up, down, up, palm muted. Do that twice, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Move it over to uh, 3, 4, and 5, D, G, and B. And do the same thing as far as chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, twice though. And then on the G string, go pick 7, pull off to 5, 4, hammer 5. So let me play that whole part a little slower. And then uh, back to the beginning, 7, 9, 10. But third time on the chord, just let it ring. Okay, there's also layered guitars. Um, a little difficult to transcribe some of these. This is what I'm hearing. Third fret, low E. Lower your thumb for the stretch. 
palm mute down up down up and then middle finger you're gonna make a power chord on 5 7 D G go you'll hear the drums you know you're accenting with that and then repeat that but go 4 E and then go 6 7 D G so it's Dang it. All right, top of page three. Um, this is uh, section 3B, last one was 3A. And the reason it's 3B is it's similar to the last one, but there are some changes. It starts the same way. But this time you don't have to go. Instead, he throws in a Zach Wilde style pinch harmonic, so you'll be going. So chord, down, up, down, up, palm muted, alternate picked. You know, that's uh, on the open A string, so twice, so it's pinch 5G vibrato. Right back to the 7, 9, 10, same way as before. And then he ends it with 3, 3, 5, 5, E, A, D, G. You can experiment with fingering as far as whether you want to go like that, like that, or like that, but... And then move it up a whole step to 5, 5, 7, 7. Section 4, 47 seconds in. This is also kind of tough to hear the particulars. Um, okay, so uh, 6, 6, D, and G, whatever fingers you want. I like to bar a lot of times with stuff like that. Chord, palm mute, alternate pick, open A four times. Repeat it, but go 6, D, 4, G. So it's, if you want, you could go two fingers and have this sitting down. Open two AD, that goes twice. The third time, instead of the A5 power chord, it's fourth fret low E vibrato. Okay, section five, 57 seconds in. 10, 12, 13, D, G, and B. Yeah. Um. So they're all same strings, same shapes, they're all power chords, we just gotta move them around. The chord, palm mute, open A, down up, down up. Now every time you go to the A, it's either four times or two times. Repeat that, but go 9, 11, 12. Right back to 10, 12, 13. With just two open A's palm muted down up into 7, 9, 10. The chords are... Fill the gaps. Okay, start it over. So actually, you'll go chord, the 10, 12, 13, four times. 9, 11, 12, followed with two palm muted open A's. Same thing with 10, 12, 13 to 12, 14, 15. So your second chord layout is this. Bristol, so here's both. Two, three, four. Connect with the palm mutes. Okay, from there, that might be the end of the section. No, it isn't. Then you're going to go 10, 12, 13. Um, to not, so the root goes from 10 to 9 to 10. Rest, 9 to 7. Second time, no star. Instead of that, it's 5, 7, 8. Series of repeats, okay? And then the solo comes in. And boy, is it a solo. A lot of stuff happening here. 147 in, 14th fret B, down, up, down, 14 E, up, down, up, down, slide to 21. Probably go middle finger. 19, so 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 to that dot. So. So, once you get there, up, down, to the 20th fret, 17, 19, 20, 21, so the 20th fret, up, down, up, and then we got to switch pages, 19th fret, 
down, up, down. They're in threes pretty much. Back to 20 three times, so it's... And then 19 to 17, same thing. So... 19th fret, four times. And you're going to bend release on the last one, so... So... Bend release, pull off to 17. 22 bend, vibrato. 14A slide. 153, you're going to go... Um, it's a little sweep that he's doing. He's going... Um, 17E, pull off to 14. I'd kind of get ready to do some, like, almost like a bar. And follow the picking in your tabs. 14, BG. 16, DA. Third finger, just shift it up. 17, 14, on the E, up, down. So it's... sharp minor sweep descending sweep um, 154 we're gonna go 17 on the high E with the index pull 19 to 17 on the B and then 17 E down up 19 down up 17 down let's see no 1917 down up 20 to 17 down up so it's 19 pull 17 19 17 BE bend uh, next one 17 but use your third finger pull off to 14 you can do that twice and then pick the 17 okay then we're gonna go this reminded me of Zach Wilde if the part I'm thinking of 19 E pull off to 17 14 And then 1714B. So you're gonna go pick, pull, pull, pick, pick five times. You may want to use different fingers even. Well no. That seems to make the most sense. So that's one time. Times five. But you can experiment with fingering, of course. 18 on the high E, pull off to 14. 17, 14 B to 16 G. So it's, you're gonna do that four times. And actually, start that with an upstroke, and then down, up, down, and then you're set to repeat it, right? experiment with fingering once again on that. And that's just repeating four times. 14B, follow your picking as much as possible, but do experiment with it. 16, pull 14, until 17G, 14B, 17G, 16G, so it's 14 hammer, 16G. So 201, 17E, bend release, and then 22E, bend, a step and a half, and then bring it back down. On the E string, high E, 17, pull 16, 14 twice, same, same thing on the B. 17, pull 16, 14 on the G, but once, so it's 16G, half step, bend release. 14, 13 G, uh, on the G. And then it continues on. It's kind of a Malmsteen style thing. Alternate picking 16, 14, 13 twice on the D. So uh, um, you're going to do 16, 14, 12 on the A twice, palm muted. So you have. Sixteen, fourteen, low E, palm muted. Go to the top of page five. I think that goes twice. Yeah, and then eleven, twelve, fourteen E, eleven A pinch. Don't let the pinches kill you, man. If it throws you off, you're better off to not put it in there. Speaking of two hundred seven, 
pinch harmonic 4G, and just bend release five times. <laughs> <clears throat> On the D string, go fret six, middle finger. You're gonna do this twice. Six, hammer seven, pull six, pull five. Six, vibrato. Actually, no, you don't do that twice. Slide to ten. And then go up, down, up, and then go back and start it over. This time go octaves, 6A, muted D, 8G, and go down, up, down, up. So in that I'm muting the E and the G. I mute everything around it so I can hit all strings and, and just hear those two notes. Okay, palm mute all of this one, and this is going to go two times. Um, you'll go... 7-6 on the D, the A, and 9-7-E. Okay. 2-14, we're going to go 16 high E, pull off the 12. And then down, up, down. A little arpeggio he's messing with here. He's going 14-B, up, down, up, down. 13-G index, up, down. 14-13. 14B twice, so. Okay, 16 on the high E, pull off to 12. This is another sweep. And I'd start with an upstroke. He goes. So check it out. 16 pull 12. All these are upstrokes. 14B, 13G, 14D, 16A, 16A down, and just pull.